We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show, where our one rule is we need a bigger backpack. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. A quest that became legend continues now. Alright, it is a little bit of the old Barney Rubble. Doesn't mean that this isn't, the whole mountain isn't going to turn into like a golem and kill us. But it might. But probably not. What? Hello? Oh, there it goes. I was not, it was not zooming in at all. Hmm. I don't want to experience what's over here. Before I go too much further. All right. Uh, that's another thing that's always a little bit weird for me. Um, oh, okay. Um, all right, so we open up inventory, we hit escape. We open up character sheet, we hit escape. We open up R, we hit escape. We open up T, we hit escape, right? Uh, we open up our map, escape brings up the options menu. Uh, eh. I'm just so used to closing windows down with escape that it's weird when it doesn't work. Uh, a little bit more weird when it doesn't work where every other window that you close down works. You know what I mean? Again, it's not like inherently a terrible thing or what have you. It's just, it, it's a bit strange. Did I just see fire over there? Uh-oh. I hope it's a single zombie or whatever it is. But undead. Oh god, that thing's super strong. Alright, okay. at least it doesn't seem to like fire very much. How it does with poison. Uh, I don't think it actually hit him. I think he's behind a tree. Well, okay. Should be having a little bit of a bad time. Yeah, we've done some work to this guy. A lot of fireballs in his uh, crotchal region. What you got, big zombs? He's like rolling out on us. He's almost dead, though. Maybe enough? It's gotta be getting close. There he goes. I'm like, I, I'm like, I see a fire over there, and then, ooh! Cool. Uh, not a big deal, but we did just kill a zombie. So, I mean, I, I think it's a pretty big deal, but apparently they don't think it's a big deal. I guess we go around and... We see what else is in this area. Hopefully nothing too devastatingly scary. There's a chest over here. Which makes me think that this could go very badly. Like, we open the chest and this whole place opens up with bad things to come murder us. I'm going to quick save. Oh, I mean, it had great stuff in it. Give me that. Our inventory is filling up rapidly. Alright, what does this do? Max mana and some fire resistance. 
Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, we got ring. Intelligence and attack power. Constitution and intelligence. Um, constitution and wisdom. Magic power and water resistance. And intelligence and attack power. I guess we'll go and put that on you. Armor class 12 hat. It's heavy armor, but whatever. Still going to be better than what you're using. Alright, and a bunch of garbage. Garbaggio. Alright, that's a little bit better. At least, again, I have to assume. Hey. I mean, this is definitely better. What, what do you have? You have two. Losing one armor class, get four earth resistance. I, it's probably fine. Alright, gonna save again. And. Undead? You gonna come out of the clearing and murder me? Oh, uh oh. Oh no. Aha. Careful when you wander into trees. It can and has backfired at least once. Okay, well we did that. That you know, that was fine. We got to fight a single undead. This doesn't lead anywhere really. This is circles back to the wolf's den. Okay. Well, again, like I said, we're, we're here all about that exploration. Getting some stuff done. All right. Let's go with the three piece again. Oh, a little bit of a lag spike there. We're a bit nervous. We can do a quick save. All right, what's going to attack me now? Huh. I thought this is an entrance to a mine. It is just a rock that... Okay. Oh. Well, that's a lot. I don't know about that. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. Well, something's going to happen. Hello. Hello. Alright, big hit there. And I got to just do this now as well. We're going to have to back away from the wolves. There's so many wolves, this might be too many wolves. Not who I was aiming at, but we'll take it. Oh, you fell just short, sir. He fell very short. So that was just a regular wolf? I thought that was one of the pack leaders. Oh, no, no, he was a giant wolf. Okay. That tracks. That makes sense. Still a lot. I'm okay with that. Another gigante wolf. Both pretty weak. I think they're gonna om nom on me right here. Oh. Yep. Uh, sure. Take that shot. Did zero damage. 
Maybe not the smoothest of moves. All right. What's up, Big Chief? Bring it on. We have to absorb as much as we can. Let's cook you a little bit. Okay. Oh, we even got the goblin. That wasn't part of the plan, but I like it. Okay, he's down. Nice. He not have backed up. That was a mistake. It's all right. I accept that I occasionally do stupid things. I wanted to swing and then back up, and I just did it wrong. Oh, I thought that might have been enough to take him out. It's all right. Should take them both down. Yep, we good. Heal out. Let's see what we can do to this guy. 82, not bad. He is done. Next up. A little bit of poison and elemental mix damage up on him. Swinging on us, huh? All right. Be gone. He died to the the poison, or maybe he died to the second shot. Kind of hard to tell. Oh, I missed. Oh, poop. All right. All right, they're lobbing stuff out at us. That's okay. Got all three of them. Beautiful. Another quick heal. Solid shot down that way. Bring it on. Cool with it. Put you down. Didn't even need the double swing on that. And we said good day, sir. All right, beautiful, beautiful combat. Handling stuff like a champ. All right. All right. Mm, I run out of room. Hopefully we come across this other town relatively soon. Got two inventory slots left. I mean, the town's down there, but it's a ways away. All right, I saved again. I think I just see the town there, right? Can, can I just go for it, or are you guys gonna try to murder me again? Oh, god, I thought that was a bear. I'm like, I don't know how I deal with bears. Oh. Well, this will be interesting. Not like that.
Well, this, again, will be quite interesting. Um... Survive the I don't just uh I'm in a bad position. So many around me. I, I do need you all to kind of group up at like a slight dist or like in one spot for me. That would be fantastic. And I need that giant wolf to not be alive. Alright, I'm gonna go for this. Is that, is that all it did? Okay. No! No! Hit that guy. Uh. Oh boy. Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh huh. I mean, we're close. I just don't know that we have enough strength to survive. Like that, that great wolf is gonna mess us up. Yep. Eh. Yeah, I know. Hoping I would hit this guy too. Did not. Oh, he howled, and he's gonna get one bite on us. Yep, down she goes. Kind of expected it. Down you go. <sighs> I mean, I think we can survive this. Maybe. Okay, he died. All right, you're gone. If I don't loot this now, I can come back and loot this later, right? Uh. Seriously? Wait. Oh, I did use a... Which one? Nope. Nope, can't do that either. All right. Um. Again, I'd like to say that we're close to the town. So I thought we were. I may have to go back. Oh, made it to the town. All right, cool. You got any uh, green haired healers laying around here? You you got purple hair. Uh, sorry. Red hair. Are you a healer? Uh, welcome. My name is Lavina. Knowing how to defend yourself or how to defend can be as important as knowing how to attack. If you want, I can teach you the proper way to handle a shield. Uh, no thanks right now. Uh huh. Hello. Have a look at my. Okay. No. Not right. You know what? Actually, yes. Hold on. And it's less because of whatever. It's more because I want to get rid of some of this stuff. So this is all garbage. Alright, 
I'll come back to you later. All right. Uh, you, you a healer? You don't look like a healer. Hello, like a blade needs to be sharpened. So does your fighting skills. Some other time. You don't look like a healer either. Welcome. Just wearing armor isn't enough. If you want to utilize its full potential, you need to learn how to move and fight with it. Yep. Nope. You're not wrong. Healer lady? Hi, pri uh, hi, friends. The price isn't always the price. Sometimes the price is much lower than it seems. My price is fixed, but for that price, you will be able to get yourself a better price than many other places. That might be a price that we're willing to pay. Okay, then. The price is 100 gold coins per person that wants the training. Negotiator. Huh. Uh, not right now. Alright, pink-haired lady. What about you? You heal people? Probably not. Hi, my name is Laria. Uh, I'll come back to you in a minute. You don't seem to be the healer. A fine selection of potions and spells. Maybe find something of interest. Not right now. There's a teleporter here. Not helpful. Uh, what about you? Hello, travelers. World's a big place. Lots of ways to get lost. Knowing where you can go. Ooh. This is going to be our... Okay. Uh, not right now. Do people actually live in their houses or just like they hang out around the house? On the map. We've made it to the West Village, but... What the heck was that? You really don't have a, a healer here? That seems uh that seems questionable. Well that I just that just sucks. Oh hold on. Okay, that didn't work. I was excited for a second I could use a ladder. No. Hmm. Well, a lot of cool stuff, except for the part where uh, half my team is dead. That's that's less cool. Am I like missing someone obvious that I didn't talk to? I know I didn't really go into what she had to say. Everybody else seemed to train us. Did I not talk to you? Uh, I don't see too many faces. Uh, okay. Why? Well, because traveling has become very dangerous. Uh, I'm sure you must know these lands have been riddled with goblins and other evils. Uh, Alright, goodbye. I want my people alive in case we don't get credit because we're dead. I would like to use a teleporter to go back to the other town, but I don't think I can do that. So, it looks like I'm going to have to hoof it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick pause break, and then we'll come back once we're back with full health and all the stuff. Okay, and we are officially back. We can go do all the cool town stuff that we didn't do before. I would be very upset if we find out that there's a healer in here and I just missed him. Very possible. Could have happened. All right, let's go to the vendor. It was you, right? You were the vendor? Yeah, let's uh, change to... Actually, let's check before we do anything else. All right, garbage, garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. Garbage. I mean, it's not bad. I think we should just take it for ourselves. And then, yeah, something like that. Garbage, garbage. Uh, okay, put that there, garbage. 
The whole inventory is garbage, apparently. Garbage. 15 to 20 plus 3, yep. That's what I'm using, or... I think that's still what I'm using. Yeah, it is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Bad. Plus 10. Class 9. I'm a class 10. I'm a class 7. I'm a class 9. Alright, so, yeah... Yeah, that's, uh, okay. I really wish our healing uh, powers would get a little bit stronger. We, uh, do not heal for very much. Okay. Cool, let's go to buy mode. I don't think there's anything that I want. From you... Old sword, a daguerre. No, no. Nope, nope. All right. Close the trade window, but there are a lot of uh, stat skills and things that we can actually gather from here. So, kind of excited by that. What did you teach again? Uh, what if we want to be even better? That's easy. Just find someone better than me that should train you. Okay, where might I find such a person? Well, it depends on what kind of weapon you want to master. Maybe all of them, but first we need to know where to go. Well, I don't know much about the whereabouts of every melee master, but I do know the Master of Swords lives somewhere in Etriol, which I, I'm not going to be able to go to. Etriol. I think that's what we're going to go with. Uh, and from what I've heard, a master in the arts of two-handed weapons should be living somewhere in the mountains. Oh, cool. I've also heard a dragon lives there. Oh, good. A dragon, yes. I, a big, mean, flying thing with big fangs that breathes fire. I don't know if it's true, but you better be on the lookout if you ever decide to go there. Oh, yeah. Stories also say it guards big treasure, but what good is gold if you're just burning corpse on the ground? True. Of any other masters. Nope, that's it. So about the dragon? Yeah, okay. How will we get to the mountains? I assume that you want to look for the master, not the dragon. The mountains lie on the other side of the jungle. And as far as I know, the east, the easiest path would be through the old jungle temple. It is the jungle temple. It's an old, old wooden ship. No, uh, it's an old and ancient place. No one has been there for ages. According to legends, it has been sealed off with some kind of magic for some reason. Oh, good. But I am not a historian, so I can't really tell you more than that. Thanks. All right, um... True. All right, help us. Staff sword. Uh-huh. Axes and flails. Teach me. You already know. Okay, so they're not really going to help me much. Okay. I could learn swords on splooge, but eh. What do you do? How to handle a shield we want. Teach that to Kimiera. Can't teach. He already knows. Yeah, that makes sense. What about you? Uh, full potential. We would like to learn that. Uh, light armor. This I do want to teach to Kimiera. Thanks. And I'm pretty sure you don't have anything else that you can teach us. Uh, I can tell something interesting. Well, I don't know about that, but maybe I could give you a little lesson in geography if you're interested. Uh, yeah, no, sure. Okay, as I believe you already know, you now stand in West Village of Miserida. Uh, travel across the western border and you will end up in Etiriel, the land of eternal ruins. Travel across the northern border and you will arrive in a frozen wasteland called Lur Lurala. And beyond the southern border, you'll find a land named Rasunda. It's mostly just a big jungle. And how about the eastern border? Uh, Misirida, Misirida uh, stretches far to the east, but it's mostly thick forest. And beyond that, you'll find nothing but water. It's on the other side of Etiriel, Lurala, and Rasunda. Well... Um, the mountains lay on the other side of the jungle, and beyond the mountains is a great desert? Not that I've ever been there. Lurala is supposed to be the most northern land, and to the far east lies the land of fire. 
and also a land called Old Hen Old Old Henvy. Okay. Do you know anything about those places? Well, besides Miserida, uh, I have only been to Etirial and Old Henve myself. And that was many years ago now, so no, I can't really tell you that much. All right, well, tell me what you remember of those two places. Etirial, or Et, Etir, yeah, Etirial is a land covered with ancient ruins, a nice place to take a walk. With lots of places to explore. Well, I guess it was before all these stupid creatures showed up. I mean, kind of rough out there these days. I don't know if you saw a bunch of wolves out there and eating travelers. Yeah, two of my compatriots, they, they, they done got eaten on our way. Yeah, yeah. So you, you understand. You understand you had to go back to the East Village and get them resurrected because we ain't got no healer. It's, it's a tough time. Yeah, uh, what? Uh, until the creature showed up at least, Ohenve is probably the home of the biggest city that you will ever find in your entire life. Uh, a great place to trade and shop, but I've heard that the entire land has now been cursed. And that the sun no longer rises over Ohenve. So maybe that's not such a great place to shop anymore. Well, that seemed horribly depressing. Thank you. What's up? Uh, okay, negotiations. Hold on. Uh, four for her, two for me, one for me, three for you. All right, it's going to be Ava. Uh, Ava. Cool. Thanks. I don't know what they do. I should maybe have checked that before I started. Oh, produces buy prices. Cool. So buying and selling and all that stuff. Cool, 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 cool. All right, what's up? Uh, hi, you seem troubled. Well, yes, I guess there is no hiding that. So what's bothering you? Maybe we can help. Uh, I probably shouldn't be asking this of you. It's a very dangerous task indeed. But the truth is, I really have nowhere else to turn. And it's of high importance for all those who have ever buried a loved one in these lands. The darkness that has fallen over us is truly an unholy one. Now the dead have risen from their graves. They must be laid to rest once again, freeing their souls from the dark bond that forces them to linger in this world. Yeah. Uh, how are we supposed to do that? Liberate their souls from their earthly remains. Kill them again, if you can call it that, since they're already dead. You want us to kill every undead in the land? Well, maybe, but at least clear out the three crypts. Some of my family is buried in one of them, and it would surely ease my mind knowing that they don't wander restless around in the dark depths. Uh, okay. Well, we'll try it. Thank you. Return once it's done, and then we'll let you can rest in peace again. Okay, we got a triple quest off that. Well, cool. Uh, what do you got for me? Spells. Show me what you got. Tell me what you got, what you got, what you got, what you got. Uh, book of Disease Cure, Book of Physical Ward, Minor Healing. We got Attack Power and Clumsy, Flaming Edge, Fire Blot, and Hot Precision. Sky, Sky, Lightning Fast. So nothing new. Oh, Arcane Armor. That That's new. Eh. I'm underwhelmed by your wares, sir. I guess that leaves us with... What do you do? Uh, okay. Oh, right, 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 right. Hold on. Uh, this is... I'm assuming Pathfinder. We can do four. Apparently we are the kings of Pathfinding. All right. Well, hit me with a four. Yay, thanks, it'll be all for now. I got a compass! I got a magic compass. Why is it upside down? Wait, what? No, I, I mean, I guess. But the compass is backwards. <laughs> East, north, east. Okay, to, I I mean, sure.
Well, we are facing south. Now we're facing east, right? Which is north. What? Why didn't? Why didn't the developer just do it like a normal human person would think when it comes to the the directions and the map? Ah, uh, I mean, it's it's whatever. It's fine, but it's that's a very odd thing to change. Like, it, it's supposed to be north. <laughs> North, east, south, west. When you have the compass this way. It, and, and it's back. I, I just, I don't, I don't know. All right, it, it's fine. I, I mean, I already figured this out before. But still, um, I, I don't, I think I'm going to have to turn the compass off. I, I think that's going to kill my brain. I, I'll, I'll use it occasionally when I need to, but boy, howdy. That, uh, that, okay, that, that's the number one questionable decision I've seen so far in the game, but it's okay. Again, small thing, just seems like, uh, yeah, an, an odd choice of nothing else. But hey, you know what? We're in a mystical land. Maybe, maybe compasses point true east. Who knows? Who can say? What's up, man? Uh, okay. Uh, are you the one they called Merrick? Why, yes, yes, I am. Wow, just a amount of experience there. How did you know that? Galley sends us. So Galley sent you, and why may I ask? Well, we we're supposed to defeat the Dark Conjurers or something? I don't, I don't know. What, you? How? Oh, we have no idea. We're as surprised as you are. Look, don't don't take offense, but defeating, hell, just getting to the Dark Conjurers will take more power and bravery than I have seen in my entire life. Well, like I said, we were surprised too, but he said you probably knew what we had to do. Well... I guess a little hope is better than none. And Galley always had a way of seeing the true potential in people. Yes, in theory, I know how they can be stopped, but reading solutions in old texts is something totally different from actually doing it in real life. So, in theory, what do we have to do? Well, like our Facebook status, it's complicated. I will have to read up on the old texts first, but if you really are serious about this, you will need all the help you can get. If you continue to travel west past the border of Misirida, you will arrive in Etiriel, the land of eternal ruins. There you must find the Flower of a Thousand Tears. It is used as an old ritual, or in an old ritual, that will bestow the blessings of Misirida upon you. Uh, it's not much, but it's a lot better than nothing, and then I will consult the old texts in the meantime. Uh -huh. Why is the flower special? Uh, many years ago, a brave and wise man died. And no, uh, he was loved by all of the people both here in Misirida and in Etiriel. When he died, great sorrow fell over the people, and he was laid to rest in one of the old temples. On that day, thousands visited his grave, or grave, if you had any there, to show their last respects. Okay? Well, either way, that, that works. And many thousand tears were shed. It is said that the rocky floors of the temple stay wet for we stayed wet for weeks, and suddenly, out of the ground, sprung the most beautiful flowers around his grave. Some say it was a gift from the gods themselves, they even, or that even they mourned his death. Ever since that day, it has been known as the Temple of Tears, and it is here that you will find the Flower of a Thousand Tears. All right, we'll find the flower. Menacing, menacing face. All right, folks, that's it for this episode. What a wild journey we just went on. But we're here. Let's take a peek at the map. It has filled out a bit. We know of East Crypt. Oh, Main East Crypt. Main West Crypt. Oh, we can travel to a place. West Village. There's a West Crypt there. Interesting. Huh. Well, I suppose we'll figure all that out as we go. Not 100% sure what our next course of action is or what we should be doing. Um, the game is sort of directing us into like various places that we can go and do some stuff but at the same time we also run into stuff like that wolf attack right outside the village over here 
that absolutely massacred us. That was a great ambush. It was really good. We were almost strong enough to deal with it. I maybe should have used a rejuvenation potion early, and that might have carried enough weight to keep me alive. I, I don't know. As it, it was close. It was a near thing, but not quite there. Anyway, folks, that's it. Till the next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy Squiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>